Hi, this is Laura Martin, and I'm going to help you to uh, join and create groups in WeVideo to help you manage your classes. So first thing you do is type WeVideo.com into your browser and then click Login. Okay, you're going to log in with Google. And then you'll be brought to your WeVideo dashboard. Okay, from the dashboard, you can see here along the bottom, you see join group. If you wanted to join a group that another teacher made, you would click join group. And then you would have to enter a code. Well, students are going to have to do the same thing for you. So as a teacher, you're going to click groups. And to create a new group, click the plus sign in the bottom right corner. And then let's say I'm creating a new group called Math Video um, Period 1. Okay, so this is intended to be joined by all of the students in the same class. So this is my Period 1 math class, for instance. So I'm going to create the group. Okay, now that your group is created, and it might be yours, your first group. So you'll see it in this area and it's down here at the bottom. I'm going to click to open it. As of right now, I have no students. What I need to get from this page is this group code. Okay, so you get to this page by clicking on groups and then clicking on the group name. And you want to get a hold of that code and copy it and maybe uh, write it on the board or put it in Schoology, some way where your students can um, copy it down or or uh, copy paste it. So when your students log into uh, WeVideo, they go down to join group, just like we did in the beginning of the video. And they either paste or hand type the code that you gave them. When students do that, they, rem they become a member of that, that group. Now, students, if they click on groups, I'm not even sure they have that in their menu, they don't see anything. The groups are purely for teacher management. Let me give you an idea what that looks like. So here is uh, Katie Steger's seventh period group. If we click to open that up, you can see every student that is in that group. Okay, what we want to look at is when you create a group, you can start a group project. This is her crazy creature project. When we click to open that project, these are the students who created videos. As a teacher, when you create groups, you can see all of the students' work while they're doing it. You don't have to wait for them to finish the video, upload the video, download the video. You can see it while it's going on. So this is a great management tool as well as you can give them feedback while they're doing it. Um, when you are ready, once you have students that have um, joined your group, I'm going to find a pretend group. The next thing you want to do is start a group project and I'll cover that in a subsequent video.